You know, about maybe five, six, seven years ago, I heard a phenomenal testimony on YouTube about two U.S. soldiers that got murdered. Basically, they were down in a basement in a military base, and they went into a room that they were not authorized to go into. You know, it's kind of like they were just snooping around. They went into this large room, and they, what they found was modern-day guillotines. And they freaked out, and they started telling people. And within, I don't know, a short period of time, they both wound up dead. And that story got onto the Internet. I clearly remember it. But their shocking story is not the only one talking about military bases and guillotines. Why are modern guillotines on military bases throughout North America? Hmm. Maybe because they plan on killing us. This story comes from a Christian truck driver that delivered a shipment. He happened to look inside of his semi-trailer and probably got the shock of his life. He was delivering modern-day guillotines to a marine base in Billings, Montana. There is no doubt in my mind that guillotines are being stored in selected military bases. In fact, I absolutely believe that one out of ten U.S. soldiers are wicked, murdering criminals that would have no problem with murdering you and me and the guy down the street. They would have no problem. And there's even bizarre stories about prisoner boxcars, rail cars, that have shackles already built into the floors of the boxcars. I do know this, if you get left behind the rapture and you're taken to a FEMA facility or UN soldiers come and take you, don't fear. Say your prayers, get as close to God as you can, and maybe you can be so filled with the Spirit of God that you can smile while they chop your head off. Wouldn't that be the greatest way to die or leave this earth? To smile as they chop your freaking head off. Because when you study up on the Bible and what it has to say about Babylon the Great and the end result of Babylon the Great, and then Hollywood actually puts in their movies the future of America and how they seem to unpleasantly line up. I mean, if you have not seen this movie, you have to watch this movie. We know that America is Babylon the Great. Okay, It clearly says she's surrounded by many waters. Okay, America is surrounded by many waters. Rome is not surrounded by many waters. The Bible also says that great city Babylon, the great merchants of the earth, will stand afar off in fear and horror at her destruction and all that. Well, guess what? The great merchants of the earth could not go to Rome if their life depended on it because Rome does not have a deep port harbor. Okay, It's talking about New York City, that great city Babylon, where the kings of the earth meet. Well, the UN headquarters just happens to be in New York City. It's talking about New York City or America. But Hollywood has put in front of your face the end result of America. All the land's going to be burned up. There's going to be cannibalism. You can't grow crops. It's just not possible. The only way to survive is if you have a powerful anointing where you can pray over empty pots and you have food and you can pray over empty water jugs and you have water. That's the only way you're going to survive. But what I wonder, who is actually going to kill you with the guillotine? Is it going to be U.S. soldiers or is it going to be the U.N. soldiers? There's already videos and talk about U.N. soldiers in Chicago. There's been so many prophetic dreams about the U.N. soldiers that come flooding into America after the big earthquake splits America in half. And then it's followed by an economic collapse and then total martial law, and then these UN soldiers, these foreign troops, there's, there might even be two million or more that come flooding in as the international help. And they're going to be the ones that most likely try to take your guns or try to take you to FEMA facilities. That's when the shooting is going to occur. There's been other people that have had these dreams and visions where they see fighting against the government right before Russia and China and its allies attack America. And we know it's going to be an antichrist-like government during the time of the invasion. So when you start putting all these together, 
you can see that it most likely will be under an antichrist like martial law scenario right before the attack and the antichrist government that people see that it's going to be set up if you want to get a shocking revelation come over here to YouTube type in like dream vision Obama returns to power and then you can find this video prophetic dream reveals Obama returning to power with sister Beverly when you start it at about one hour and 27 minutes now I've listened to this three times all the way through from an hour 27 all the way two hours or whatever but you want to get a shocking revelation go check out this video now what's so funny about the video the Lord never told her that Obama is the Antichrist she just assumes that he is she had in the vision or dream she saw where Obama is standing by this very large throne this evil throne and it even says Osiris which is another name for Nimrod and then she thinks that Obama is the Antichrist. No, he's standing next to the throne of the real Antichrist, which is Osiris or Nimrod. You know what I'm saying? But I've listened to it three times. You've got to check it out. It will blow your mind.